there's also the issue of emergency services. So let's say you live down Route 8 like I do. The ambulance that we have in that area has already responded to a call and they're across the bridge bringing somebody to Anne Arundel County. You put in a call and now you need to get an ambulance there. We have to route it there from a different station. If the back roads are clogged up, um, that impacts their ability to get there. There's often fire calls, right? United Communities would normally be responding if you're on Southern Kent Island. Sometimes it's a big fire and additional, additional units have to be sent. We gotta get somebody from Kent Island Fire Department there. Sometimes Graysonville will respond to that area and other places. So with the volunteer firefighters, they gotta get to the firehouse, get the equipment, and then get to the call. And that can also be impacted with having the back roads clogged up. So part of this is not just so that people can move around on the side roads freely, but that's so emergency services can effectively respond. Emergency service had three calls right at the height of the uh, accident on the bridge, and one of them was the bridge. Uh, we, we got an email from them. They had no problem getting to the bridge. They, they thank us for that. Uh, they actually went up the Route 8 ramp and went down the other side of the ramp. So the state highway opened up the ramp for them when they saw them coming, and they went down the ramp. They had no delays, uh, and they had no problems with the plan that we had in place. There was some post I saw on social media where someone saying, look, this ambulance is not able to get where they need to go because of the pilot program. Um, people will see something on social media and they're posted as if it's true without having any background information on it. Um, we're highly attentive to making sure that we're in direct contact with the Director of Emergency Service to find out, is this true? What happened? What do we need to do? Um, what you saw on social media, this might be a bit of a shocker, but it's not all true. Um, so Emergency Services was able to navigate and it worked. To watch the entire video series, please head to the QAC TV YouTube page. And while you're there, give us a like, a share, and subscribe so you can hear about all the wonderful things going on in this county. Thanks for watching.